food insecurity is a thing. It's very real and it does exist. For those of you who don't know what food insecurity means, it's defined as a lack of access at some times to enough food for an active, healthy lifestyle. And that is for all the members of the household. Food insecurity means that we have the food to power our bodies that's not only delicious, but nutritious. If we don't have it, then we have food insecurity, even if it's only part of the time. In the state of Arkansas, over the last few years, we've gone from being dead last, or number one in food insecurity in the U.S., to now being the fifth from last. This is a marketed improvement. In fact, it's fantastic. But we still have a lot more work that we can do. In the state of Arkansas, in 2016, four out of 20 people were, well, unable to find food all the time. And now we have 3 out of 20 people in 2020. Again, an improvement, but there's so much more we can do. Even though we're good with that number, when it comes down to children, 1 in 5 children have food insecurity issues in the state of Arkansas. That means 20% of our children in Arkansas don't always have enough to eat. In Hope, Arkansas, we're sitting around 18% food insecurity. That's actually worse than the state of Arkansas as a whole. That means 1,800 people at any given time in hope may not actually have a meal ready for them, not, may not be able to eat something that's healthy. So we really have to start stepping up and thinking about what causes these issues. What are the causes of food insecurity? There's actually quite a few of them that you can take a look at. First one I want to point out is unemployment or underemployment. That means people who don't have a job or people just don't have a job that pays well enough to actually buy healthy food and support all of their bills. After unemployment, there's food availability. It may not be in their neighborhood and it could be because they don't have transportation to get there. Food costs can be prohibitive because it's expensive and health issues are also another reason. If you have really bad health issues, then most likely you're not going to be able to afford the food and the transportation needed to get good, healthy food and meals for your family. The next two I'd like to talk about is poor budgeting and, well then, eating behaviors. Both of those can be an educational issue. Some people don't, weren't ever taught how to budget their funds to pay for things and pay for their foods and their bills and everything that they need. And as far as eating behaviors, eating behaviors often come with family history and what you grew up with. If your family ate a certain way, most likely you're going to eat a certain way. From the causes come the effects of food insecurity. You know, inadequate intake of nutrients leads to increased risk of negative pregnancy. Um, total health care costs start going up and they increase steadily as the food quality goes down. Increased risk for negative mental health impacts. It's depressing when you can't feed your family and it leads to suicide, substance abuse, and so on and so forth. It increases a risk for chronic diseases and for our children, the long-term deficits in children's socio-emotional, socio cognitive, and motor functioning is gigantic. Our kids just can't pay attention at school when they're not being fed well. So we need to focus on what we can do about food insecurity. You know, first of all, there's emergent need. When you're hungry, you need food now. We have our blessing boxes around town for the Hope Connection Outreach Center and Hope Connection, but those are just an emergent thing. Getting food boxes, going to food pantries, those are just emergent options. They don't actually solve any problems. What they do is they get us through the gap until we can do much, much more for the people who really need our help. Beyond the emergent, we can do more. We can help people find jobs, help them look for things. We can use our power, use the internet. Now we can grab newspapers or whatever. Here at the Hope Connection Outreach Center, we have a learning center so people can sit and look for jobs. They can learn how to do resumes, do things like that, be able to better themselves, to do educational things, to help improve their life in their situation in life. This is how we solve food insecurity. Not by just putting a band-aid on it, 
not just by giving people food, but by helping them find their path to take care of themselves and be awesome members in our community and make Hope, Arkansas a great place to live. As we continue on, what we can do about food, food insecurity is we can provide stable shelter. You know, here at the Hope Connection Outreach Center, we don't have a place for people to stay, but we do have other places in Hope, Arkansas that give people a place to have a hand up. We have Hope in Action too, and they can stay for a few days there while they're trying to get things in line. After they get a job, find a stable place to stay. Maybe they can find a home, a permanent home, a place to live, a place to belong, and a place to serve the community of Hope, Arkansas, and make a difference. People need community, um, so they don't backslide. Um, here at the Hope Connection, we have Overcomers in Christ and an addiction group. We have food pantries. We have people that volunteer. We have lots of things that can be done so we can support each other through worship services, Bible study. You name it, that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to be the community that people are so lacking. And anybody can help. Anybody can help. And you know how you can help? You can bless your blessing boxes. Donate some food. You know what? Leave food in the blessing boxes. Leave food at the outreach center. Help us help the people of hope. Help us bring hope back to hope. If you have a blessing, leave it. If you need a blessing, take it. Above all, you can be blessed. And the other way that you can really, really help us, the way you can really help us, is by volunteering. Take time to help us out. Come on down to the Help Connection Outreach Center. Become a volunteer and make a difference. Help build things. Help people do resumes. Help people with their budgeting. You know, help people with community connections that they didn't have before. Help organize donations from the clothing closet and the food pantry. You know, help fill the blessing boxes. There are so many different things we can do. Volunteering. Helping everyone do everything because everybody at the Hope Connection and the Hope Connection Outreach Center are volunteers because we're volunteering to make a difference for Hope Arkansas because hope is a place that deserves hope. Thank you so much and come join us. Let's make a difference. Food insecurity is real but together we can make it go away because God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Have a blessed day, Hope Arkansas, and let's make some change happen. Goodbye.